Yeah, so uh, <clears throat> I don't know if you remember that real big boar that I had. He was uh, about 750 pounds, and uh, he wasn't mean at all, not compared to the mama pig, but he was bigger than her, and I'm sure a lot stronger. And um, I, uh, I wanted to keep the skull, so I put it up in the woods, and uh, just let the animals take care of it and let the bugs clean it. And I uh, went back and the damn thing was gone. So I don't know where it went. It was gone for like a year and a half. And uh, I was up there hiking the other day and sure enough, I found it. So I thought I'd give you a good look at it and uh, show you the scale of this thing. That's my welding helmet right there, right next to it. I'll give you an idea. And look at those teeth, man. Look at those, uh, I guess you would call them tusks, but uh, amazing. Size that thing. Imagine that chomping into your leg. And uh, you can see where, uh, where he was dispatched here. Um, this was actually a 22. And the uh, funny thing was... Uh, called a couple boys from up the road to uh, take the thing out for me because I didn't have a gun and uh, you know I hadn't shot a pig before and they would shot lots of cows and uh, he said well just a, a 22 between the eyes usually does it drops them you know like a ton of bricks every time so I took their word for it and I was like I don't know man that ain't really a pig or uh, that ain't really a, a a cow that's a a pig's a tough tough animal and you know I guess a cow is too you know but so anyway I said all right then come on down showed up with a 22 and it was only a it was only a single shot 22 I was like oh god this is probably gonna go go bad so anyway I just said oh go ahead do it do what you gotta do so we threw a little food down on the ground and got the pig you know fairly close he was only like two or three feet away. He lined up the shot, aimed towards where we, you know, between the eyes a little high, I figured, and uh, shot it. And we didn't even see a hole. And uh, all it was was it was a black pig with a white stripe, and he had a big powder mark right between his eyes. And uh, he ran about. 15 feet inside the pen there and turned around and just started snorting <laughs> like that and, um, I just looked at buddy I said you got to go get a bigger gun don't shoot it again with that thing go get a go get a real gun so they came back with a uh, I think it was a 30-06 so, or sorry a 30-30 Winchester and uh, shot it again this time you got it in behind the eye here and you can actually see that the the shot went pretty much right through the eyes, the eye cavities, and it knocked him down. And, uh, you know, he didn't know what hit him that time. It still wasn't a, a great shot. And uh, right after all that happened, I did a little research to make sure it never happened again. And from then on out, I did my own shooting. And uh, uh, I learned that their brain is way back. Like, this is where their eye is, but their brain is way back in here. And fairly small, only about, you know, like barely the size of a baseball, not even that big, like uh, size of a racquetball. So uh, I've never had a problem since then. They, I've hit them in that one spot every time, even with a 22, and they just drop. So it's good to do a little research sometimes. But I wanted to keep the thing. I just thought it was pretty cool. And uh, now that I've got it, I'm going to put it out in the sun, let it bleach, and I'm going to clean it up a little bit more and uh, I'm going to keep this because it's pretty wild looking. I mean, look at that. Looks like something from another planet. Man. So it looks like we have a planetary alignment starting. We got the moon. I think that's Venus. And I think that is Jupiter. So right up there. I don't know if you can see it. For you astronomers, I've always been interested in space. So. That shit fascinates me, man. I love anything to do with science, uh, astrophysics, things like that. 
and uh, I just think it's cool. So I'm just chilling out here in front of the fire. Got a real nice fire going. Um, just give you a little bit of an update. Uh, I know I haven't been doing much. I'm always coming up with excuses, but just uh, don't have much on right now, really. So I don't know. My heart's just not in it right now. So better days will come. Um, I did find another waterfall that I had never seen. Uh, and uh, here's a video of us going to look at it. The camera's a little foggy because there was some snow on the lens at first, but it clears up. So, uh, right when I was about to fall down that hillside. So, check that out. That's Dan up there, working his way down, scared to death. Here he comes. I was telling him it better be worth it. Yeah. Better be worth it. I think it is worth it. Wow. That's a beautiful set of falls. Sam! Come on, Sam! Dog is nut. Sam. Hey buddy. Wow. Must be something during a storm. Yeah. About 60 feet. Yeah. Quite a cut in the rock there. Just a big, big sharp cut. Here's the end trying to get himself across the brook. Oh yeah. Dan, careful, it's thin ice! Oh, oh yeah, Randy. Go you gotta find a different way. Hey, what do you got to say there, Dan? Huh? What do you got to say? <laughs> That's a pretty sweet waterfall, man. Beautiful. I can imagine in the summertime how beautiful that'll be. I'll, uh, I'll have to go back there and check that one out. A bit dangerous getting down there, man. It's a big hole. Um, there's no way you can swim there. It's only like two or three feet deep. But uh, we're going to go check all of them out this summer because this is actually gold country um, here in Nova Scotia. There's gold mines around here. There was never a lot of gold, but there was gold discovered, a couple little mines, but. Um, so I'm gonna go check out some of those little brooks and stuff this summer, so that'll be interesting. Do some uh, Alaska gold rush, you know, that kind of thing. Um, what I wanted to ask you guys was, uh, uh, I know in previous videos I've asked for ideas, but this time I'm going to take it one step further. I'm actually going to listen to you. So uh, I want your f free ideas and uh, the only criteria is it, it can't cost me too much. You know, just give me an idea of something to make, something simple. Um, hopefully it shouldn't take more than four or five hours to build if it's something I have to build or it can be something real simple such as forging something. Um, or whatever, you know, it could be anything. When you ask me to do it, I'll probably do it. And, uh, <clears throat> so, you guys read the other comments. People will make suggestions in the comment box below. And, uh, whichever one gets a high degree of thumbs up, I ain't going to say the one that gets the most because you could tell me to go jump off a fucking building or something. And that might, you know, you'd probably like to see that, me landing on my head or something. 
I ain't gonna do it. But um, just give me a good idea there, something to make or or whatever, you know. And uh, give it a thumbs up. And if it's enough thumbs up on it, I'll do it. Um, other than that, what have I been working on? Not too much. I got a drum over there. It's a big water tank, about five feet long, and about I don't know, about 16, 18 inches across. And what that's going to be is like a tumbler for uh, cleaning stuff, you know, like real rusty bars and things like that. Throw them in there with a bunch of metal and just roll them. And uh, so that's a project I'm working on. It's not really going anywhere at the moment. I need to find a motor for it. Some kind of like washing machine motor or something that's made to run for a while. Um, other than that, um, in my own personal life, I put myself on a diet. I realized I was getting entirely too fat. Uh, ever since I moved out here into the country, I've probably gained almost 25, 30 pounds in the past two and a half years. So it's time to get that under control. Um, I think a good weight for me is probably around 200, 205 pounds. So get rid of this big beer gut of mine, you know. So I got myself on a diet. I've been on that for a few days now. That's all right, you know. You know what that's like. It's hard to bring yourself to go on a diet, especially if you enjoy food as much as I do. And um, but that's going all right. I've I've gotten my weight under control before. And uh, as soon as my back feels a little better here, I'm going to start doing a little bit of exercise. Uh, I won't be doing no videos of that because you wouldn't want to see that. And uh, just trying to get myself back into shape. I always used to be in really good shape when I was younger. I was always into extreme sports and cycling and BMX and rock climbing, things like that. I just got away from it, man. I just, you know, I miss it, though. I used to do all kinds of stuff like that, hiking and stuff. My wake-up call was actually when... Uh, when I climbed out of that, where that waterfall was, um, by the time I got to the top, man, I was just wheezing. And, you know, it was only about a 100-foot climb straight up, but I uh, just realized then I need to get my ass in shape. So hopefully by summertime I'll have a hot body. But anyway, you don't care about that. Anyway, um, let's get some ideas and... Uh, We'll go from there. See ya.